Begin the first phase of stage 2, the moon, using parts supplied with issue 8. Take one of the moon pillars, place one 8mm steel bearing over the upper threaded collar. Fix the bearing with one PWM3 crosshead collared screw. Place a second bearing over the lower threaded collar and again fix it with a crosshead collared screw. Insert the base of the moon pillar firmly into one of the three half moon shaped holes around the perimeter of the earth arm. Secure the pillar with an M3G grub screw using a 1.5mm Allen key. Repeat for the remaining two moon pillars and fit them in the remaining two horseshoe shaped holes. Secure each with an M3G grub screw. The second phase of stage 2 adds the solar eclipse gear supplied with issue 9. Place the 159 tooth solar eclipse gear onto the three lower steel bearings on the moon pillars. Ensure that the groove around the underside of the solar eclipse gear runs smoothly on the three steel bearings. The gear should rotate easily. The third phase of stage 2 adds the moon track supplied with issue 10. Place the moon track over the top tier of the moon pillar bearings and onto the 159 tooth solar eclipse gear. Ensure that the three support legs of the moon track sit in the three sockets in the top of the 159 tooth solar eclipse gear. The moon track is then tilted at 5 degrees. The fourth phase of stage 2 adds the moon and 161 tooth gear supplied with issues 11 and 12. Take the pre-assembled moon wheel and check that it is pushed firmly onto the angled lower end of the moon axis. The wheel should rotate freely on the inner steel bearing. Slide the top of the moon axis up through the collared hole in the 161 tooth moon gear, ensuring that the collar is uppermost. Now lower the moon gear onto the upper tier of steel bearings on the moon pillars. Locate the moon wheel into the groove in the inclined moon track, then fit the moon onto the top of the moon axis. The fifth phase of stage 2 adds the midsection supplied with issues 13 and 14. Take the 91 tooth gear and insert the large plastic spindle collar in the centre. Align the countersunk screw holes and secure with three KB 2.3 self-tapping screws. Ensure the collar is firm but don't over tighten the screws. Place the large brass collar over the large plastic spindle collar. At this stage you need to lift off and put aside the moon, the moon axis and wheel, the 161 tooth moon gear, the moon's track and the 159 tooth solar eclipse gear. This will enable the 91 tooth gear to be lowered in to mesh with the 91 tooth gear on the earth drive. Push the central shaft through the large plastic spindle collar and through the earth arm. Ensure the screw hole in the central shaft is at the top. The bottom end of the shaft must lie flush with the underside of the earth arm. Secure the central shaft to the earth arm by inserting the M3G grub screw into the small hole in the side of the earth arm. Tighten the grub screw with a 1.5mm Allen key until the central shaft is locked firmly. The two 91 tooth gears should now mesh. Place the small brass connecting spacer over the top of the large plastic spindle collar. The sixth phase of stage 2 adds parts supplied with issue 15. Slide the 22 tooth gear onto the central shaft ensuring that the locking jaws are facing upwards. Slide the collared locking spacer onto the central shaft with the widest collar downwards. Engage its two jaws in those of the 22 tooth gear below. Slide the medium plastic washer onto the central shaft 
and seat it on the rim of the collared locking spacer. Slide the 22 tooth chain sprocket onto the central shaft and sit it on the medium plastic washer. It should spin freely on the washer. Slide the connecting brass spacer onto the central shaft and over the top end of the collared locking spacer. Then slide the 23 tooth gear onto the central shaft with its locking jaws downwards. Engage the two jaws in those of the collared locking spacer. The 22 tooth and 23 tooth gears should now be able to rotate on the central shaft locked together. The seventh phase of stage two adds the 18 tooth chain sprocket supplied with issue 16. Slide the long brass spacer onto the central shaft so that it sits on the 23 tooth gear fitted previously. Slide the small plastic washer onto the central shaft. Slide the 18 tooth chain sprocket onto the central shaft ensuring the locking jaws face upwards. Slide the small locking spacer onto the central shaft and engage its jaws with those of the 18 tooth chain sprocket below. The eighth phase of stage two adds parts supplied with issue 17. Fix the 24 tooth gear securely to the small plastic spindle collar using three KB 2.3 self-tapping screws. Ensure that the locking jaws face downwards. Place the connecting brass spacer over the small plastic spindle collar. Fix the 21 tooth gear securely to the top of the small plastic spindle collar using three KB 2.3 self-tapping screws. Slide the 21 tooth and 24 tooth gear sandwich onto the central shaft and engage the jaws with those of the small locking collar below. Secure the entire stack of gears by fixing the PWM8 collared crosshead screw into the top of the central shaft. Ensure the collar of the screw sits on the upper rim of the shaft and does not press against the upper 21 tooth gear. Note, you may need to make a slight adjustment to the height of the central shaft at this stage if the collared screw does not sit correctly. If so, release the grub screw in the earth arm and push the central shaft down or up. The ninth phase of stage two adds the pillar support ring supplied with issue 18. The support ring ensures that the three moon pillars stand perfectly upright so that the moon gear engages correctly. You will have to temporarily remove one of the moon pillars to fit this collar. First, release the M3G grub screw from the base of the outermost moon pillar. Then, lift out this pillar from the earth arm. Also slacken the grub screw at the base of the two remaining pillars, but do not remove these pillars. Next, place the 159 tooth solar eclipse gear back onto the lower bearings of the two pillars. Then, refit the moon track, ensuring the three support legs sit in their sockets. Now place the pillar support ring over the two pillars. Refit the third pillar, ensuring its lower bearing slides under the solar eclipse gear. Secure the pillar support ring to the fixing holes in the pillars using three KM 2.5 countersunk screws. Now make a visual check to ensure each pillar is precisely vertical. With the center of the pillar at eye level, compare its upright edge with that of the Earth's central support shaft. Move the pillar left or right until aligned, then tighten the M3G grub screw firmly. Next, refit the moon axis and wheel, and the 161 tooth moon gear, and the moon. Now check that the moon axis travels freely around the moon track so that the moon itself goes up and down through its five degree tilted path around the earth.
Stage 2 is now complete.